Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah. Today we are going to make my solid head scarf that I made the other day. And uh, I'm gonna do something a little different from this one. I'm gonna try something a little different from how I did the scalloped edge. So let's get, go ahead and get started. All right, so first you're gonna need your supplies. I'm using a J hook, six millimeter, uh, and then obviously you need your darning needle, pair of scissors, and your yarn. And right now, today I'm using um, Mainstay's Sparkle Acrylic Yarn in the colorway Rose Rose Fume. Uh, it is a four weight, but you don't have to necessarily use a four weight. You just need to adjust how big you do it. So first you're gonna start with a slip knot. I'm sorry guys, I'm just, I'm not feeling very good today. So, um, and then you're going to chain two. And then in that first chain, we're going to do a single crochet. Okay. And now I'm going to stack my single crochet by, <coughs> excuse me, by working into this first bar right here. by putting in another single crochet. And this is how I'm probably going to continue to do it. It just is easier for me to work into the double stacked single crochets as I work up the, the rest of the work. Does that make any sense? As I work up the piece. So now we're going to put in two double crochets into that same space. Okay, and so now we have three double crochets. One of them is that double stacked single and then two double crochets. And then we are going to just turn our work and work straight into that first stitch with a single crochet. And we're going to stack it with another single crochet. And in that same space, we're going to work another double crochet. Into the next space, we're going to work a double crochet. And into the last stitch, we're going to work two double crochet. All right, and then you're just going to turn your work and work straight in with that double stacked single crochet. Oops. And then you're going to work a double crochet into that same stitch and now working across the working across do double crochets into each stitch a, one double crochet And 
And then in that last stitch, we're going to work two double crochet. So we're going to repeat this with two double, starting with the double stacked single crochet and then a double crochet in the same stitch, then working across with double crochets and then ending with two double crochets. So that's where our increase is, is the two double crochet stitches on either side of the edge. And we're going to work this up until it measures about 13 inches. So now that we're, our triangle is actually almost 14 inches, I believe. Let's see. Oh, actually, no, it's right at, yeah, it's roughly, it's a little over 13 inches, which is totally fine because we're just going to tie it. Uh, now that we're finished building the triangle, we're going to uh, do single crochets down the sides and then we'll start making our straps so in order to do the first single crochet I'm gonna go into this the first um, double crochet my brain and just simply do a single crochet right there and then I'm gonna do a second single crochet in that same space Now I'm going to move down to this spot right here and do a single crochet. And then move down to the next and just keep working my way down. Trying to do two single crochets into the top of each and then a single crochet in that I don't know this uh, the bottom of each uh, double crochet. My goodness. Now that we're at this the bottom I'm gonna go into that first very first space and do three single crochet and that will get us around the edge or the corner if you will and then now we're going to go up the other side and just remember you started at the top of the double crochet so we want to do the same thing on this side 
So we need to find that's one, two, one, two, three, and then right here. Oops. Right here. Okay. It's a little tricky, at least for me, from this side, because we're seeing it from a different angle. So, okay, that's that. I try to match up the other sides. So like right here to right here. Definitely want two there. And that one. So I'm going to go ahead and count, which I should have done earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and count this side and see how many stitches I have so that I can try and match it up on this side. All right, so I have 32 single crochets on this side, then three in the center here. Now I need to try and get 32 on this side. Let's see. And what's neat about this is it gives it its natural curve to go down your head. So now we're going to start working in threes, actually four. We're going to work into fours and we're going to do a double crochet in that first stitch. Then I'm, this is where I'm changing it up a little. I'm doing a double crochet, a treble crochet, and a double crochet into that same stitch. And then a double crochet into the third stitch. And then finally a slip stitch into the next one, which will anchor, anchor that. And there's your first little scallop. So we're going to repeat this process all the way down to the bottom. 
oops, sorry, I don't know if I kind of went out of frame there, but into that first stitch or the next stitch, a double crochet. Into the next stitch, a double crochet, treble crochet, double crochet. Then into that next stitch, a double crochet. And into the next one, a slip stitch. And there we go. We are making our scalloped edge. Oops. And I will meet you at the bottom to show what to do next. All right, so I have reached the bottom. And, you know, I'll be honest, each time I do this, it's a little different. Obviously, I did a little different scalloped edge on this side. And I'm at the bottom here. Oops, here's my working yarn. And I think I'm just going to work three double crochets into this stitch right here to create the bottom. Just a simple little... And then I'm going to slip stitch into the same stitch because that's what I did when I ended. I slip stitched into this stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch right here. Come on, go in. There we go. And then now I'm going to work the same as I was doing here, the double crochet into the next stitch alrighty double crochet, treble crochet, double crochet into the next stitch Double crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch. Okay, now see that clearly looks weird, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back and see if I can't fix it. The cool thing about yarn is it, it's very forgiving and Let's see. You can make a multitude of mistakes, but you can always fix them. So I'm trying to see. I might just. I might just keep going around with the single crochets or double crochets. And it's that one. Gets the three. All 
I don't know. We'll see if this works. Oops. And slip stitch. Alrighty, did we? I don't know that, I mean, it's all trial and error. I, I think I'm going to continue and see how I like it when I'm done with this side. Looking, we're looking the same. All right. So we have both sides done. It looks pretty good to me. Um, so now what we are going to do is start forming the strap. And by doing that, we're going to chain 40. Now that we've gotten our 40 chains, we're going to go into the, we're going to slip stitch into the back loops, back down. And can I see that one? Go. Now we're going to slip stitch right here to anchor it. If I can get there. Yeah. All right, so now we are going to single crochet all the way across to the other side.
Okay, now that we're on the other side, we're going to chain 40 and repeat the single or the slip stitch back down. Alrighty, we are all finished and I will bring you back up in just a moment for final thoughts. But I just wanted to say, I think I really like doing the, um, the three in the one slot or one space. So doing the double crochet and then doing the double crochet, treble crochet, double crochet in the same space and then double crochet and then, uh, slip stitch. But when I get down to here, I think I need to just make it all double cro double crochet so it'll have the same shape. This one's mine, so it's not going to matter too much because I'm not going to care. But yeah, I think once I get down to this last little triangle, I'm just going to do all double crochet. I may even just do individual instead of doing the triple in the one space. So I think that's the only thing I'll do differently. But let me bring you up and I can show you it in a second. All right, so here we go. Here's the finished product. I actually, I really like it. I think it's pretty. I do want to tr do this again, but without the treble crochet in this bottom part. Let me go ahead and put it on and I'll show you what it looks like. Alrighty, so here you go. This is the finished product. Let me turn around. As you can see, these ones are a lot longer than this, like say this one. Um, let me... Yeah, see, they're a lot longer, so I kind of like that, but I also like the shortness of this one. Um, it's just up to you. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button and let me know. Are you going to do something similar to this? What would you change when you do it? And share it with a friend. If you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to make it go to all so that you get all of my notifications. And with that, remember, gravity works, guys.